This time we're going to use a technique called the sieve of Eratosthenes to find out all the prime numbers in between 1 and 100. So let's start the process. First of all, 1 is not a prime number, so get rid of it. 2 is, because it's divisible by itself and 1 only. But all the other multiples of 2, in other words all the other even numbers, can't be primed, so let's get rid of those as well. The next number 3, well it's not divisible by 2, so it must be a prime number itself. But let's have a look at the multiples of 3. They're not prime, minister, they're not, uh, prime numbers, and so we zap them. 5 is the next number, and it must be prime because it's not divisible by anything smaller than itself except 1. Get rid of all the other multiples of 5, though. 7 is a prime number because it's not divisible by anything smaller than itself except 1. Let's look at all the other multiples of 7 in the list, and let's get rid of them. Now we have to stop and think. Think about the numbers uh, on the list which haven't yet been knocked out. If they are divisible by a prime number which is larger than 10, then they must also be divisible by a prime number which is smaller than 10, because 10 tens are 100, and you can't have numbers divisible by two prime numbers which are both larger than 10. So, it follows that every other number on the list is prime, because we've got rid of all the numbers which are divisible by 2, 3, 5 and 7. So all of the numbers which haven't been taken off the list at that stage must also be prime numbers. And we've done it. We've found out a list of all the prime numbers between 1 and 100, and there they are in blue. This technique is called the sieve of Eratosthenes because the ancient Greek mathematician, er, er, mathematician Eratosthenes used this technique. Why is it called a sieve? Well, basically, if you get rid of all the numbers in the list which are not prime numbers, just like letting them fall through the holes of a sieve, then what you're left with in the sieve is just the prime numbers themselves. That's why it's called the sieve of Eratosthenes.